Hey everyone, welcome back to Party Day Crypto. Today we're going to look at VeChain, aka VET, aka not your dog's vet. Terrible dad joke. Let's get right into the weekly chart. It's the most important uh, chart that we're looking at for VeChain today. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Telegram. We have a free Telegram. If I'm not posting on YouTube, sometimes I post on there. So that's 100% free. If you want any more help than what you see there, we have Patreon, which is a private Telegram and more access to more information to help you learn, to help you be a better trader, lose less money, make more of it, live happier. Uh, let's get going. On the weekly, where is our macro level support level? Well, our lowest closing candle right here uh, that happened back in July 12th. We closed that at uh, 6.7 cents, okay? So that is unlikely, in my opinion, not financial advice, but unlikely that we're going lower than that on a weekly closing candle. Could we wick lower? Of course, right? Wick lower, wick lower, wick lower, right? Three wicks, four wicks, really, uh, underneath that so far. However, we haven't done it yet. Do we have to even come down this far? Of course not. We're already uh, significantly under our 21-week EMA. So let's see how far under. About 28%. We just looked at Polkadot on our last video, and it was about 25%. So a lot of coins kind of in similar boats right now. And back from all-time highs, we're way down, right? We're way down. 70%. Uh, that's usually like uh, the bottom even in bear markets, right? So people calling for substantial more drops. The math and the odds don't agree with you. I think the end is near for all this crap. It's just if you if you want a little bit more to ease your mind. Let's zoom out, right? Look at what VeChain has done, right? So if you bought up here, which a lot of people did, bought them in this area, it's okay. You're going to be bailed out. I think VeChain will still do quite well in the not-so-distant future. And if you think about it, right, you could just look at this and just, if you want to just focus on butterflies and daisies, just think about it as a southern accent <laughs> consolidation period. <laughs> so we're just, we're just going sideways, basically, right? Just sideways makes it seem a little easier right okay so consolidation before our next move up so what happened well let's go down to the daily chart and see if we got some more help we'll be back to the gaussian channel in just a moment but i want to show you on the daily chart uh it's just a little bit more evident that well actually let's let's stay to the weekly let's make up our mind here <laughs> so look at this pattern see this w forming uh what you want to see when this happens and why this didn't play out of W pattern is quite often bullish, certainly on a weekly chart. However, when you come back down after this top here and we break out kind of side of this, uh, the middle of the W, you want to hold support right there saying we failed to do that. Right. So that is, you know, one of the big reasons why, uh, you know, it's, it's broken down. And now what pattern do you see now? Well, it's quite the opposite. It's more of a bearish pattern because that uh, bullish W broke down. Now we can flip to this M, see this? And then usually an M will bottom at or slightly above where the start of the M happens. So that's the odds. That's, that's what I usually try to explain myself a little bit and don't just give you my best guess and provide no data for why I'm saying that, okay? So I usually like to let the people know why I'm saying that and not just throw random darts at a dartboard, okay? So that is the reason. And I do think that that will be a, you know, a turnaround in the not so distant future. So yeah, we're at eight cents now. Uh, could we come down a little bit lower? Sure. Do we have to? No, but I would say the most maybe, yeah, I know it's tough, the stomach. You're like, oh, well, just another 17% off my portfolio, Chase. Uh, well, it's only it's only a loss if you sell, right? If you if I told you, you know, if, if VeChain is going to be at, you know, 30 cents and six months, would you sell now? Just picture that then, uh, okay? Not financial advice, you can do what you want, but the odds of, you know, 57 red weekly candles in a row are very remote. When have you last seen VeChain print this many reds, okay? The green is coming in the not so distant future, in my opinion. All right, now let's get to that dang Gaussian channel. The five day Gaussian, this is that same line, right? That 6.7 cents, I haven't touched it and it transfers over here. So what? this will come into play here in just a moment. So we closed one candle back in first week of December uh, on the five day, five day Gaussian. That's the key. We closed one, we closed two candles. So if you follow me at all, two candles usually confirms the odds increasing towards your next level down. Our next level down is the bottom of this channel. 
Does that mean we go there immediately? No. The bottom of this is 5.8 cents. But, but, this will likely, if if we do it, right, that's just the odds, we could turn around here immediately. We could go back, we could be at 11 cents in next next month, okay? Uh, or next week even. Uh, but if we do come down, it's likely going to take another 20 to 30 days. And would that shock the hell out of market-wide people that if I told you that come February 1st, prices will be lower than they are today? Uh, yeah, that would probably scare some people, but you have to be ready for anything. And the odds are increased for VeChain. Not that we have to go lower. Remember, right? It, you, often when you feel like selling most is usually when you should be buying. And usually the end is near, right when you're ready to just give up. So keep that in mind. If you're close to that, just batten down the hatches. The time to sell is up at these peaks as you're moving up. Green after green after green after green after green. You have to take profits, right? Or maybe if you bought up this level, you just have to be patient. The higher you buy, the more patient you need to be for whatever coin you're entering. Okay, so the end is close. But if we come down, look at this line, right? The, the bottom of the Gaussian channel will likely trend up over the next 20 to 30 days and could very well be at this exact macro level weekly support that we pointed out, so 6.7 cents in about a 30 days or so, rough, give or take. And if we did that, right, if we did come all the way down and hit that wick, that would be super support because you'd have the bottom of the five-day Gaussian channel also saying that the weekly candles closing right at the bottom of that end pattern, right at the at the at the weekly support level right here at this week lowest weekly closing candle that 6.7 cents area all in agreement likely means that that's a pretty concrete level uh in my book moving forward so take with that what you will uh let's see what else we got v chain what to look for in the shorter term so we're way under the 21 uh 21 day ema right here in the 21 week ema we're way under that we're 28 percent under that we're let's see how far we are under this so on the daily chart, we're still almost 15% under that. So what do you look for for a, if you want to get a heads up when we could be turning around to the upside? You're right here. What is this? I'm glad you asked. It's the eight day SMA, simple moving average. So you can get that for free. It's just, if you have trading view, just hit that indicators and strategies, type in moving average and you know, exponential is this one. Uh, exponentials just move faster than SMAs, but Look at how important the the eight day SMA is for a lot of coins. Uh, until we you know start flipping back this, this is this is where you'll know that there's a possibility, not a certainty, but a possibility that V chain could and any coin could be turning around. Is if you we haven't done it in a long time, right? Look at this November over over a month since we've been above close the close the daily candle above the eight day SMA over a month. Okay, this will be pretty significant. If VeChain can can look at this today, it's battling right now. If VeChain starts closing daily candles, I would look for at least two daily candles above the eight-day SMA. Then maybe we're trying to turn the Titanic around before we hit the iceberg. <laughs> we're avoiding the iceberg altogether. That's not what I'm saying. Titanic is just the ship that comes to mind. But I always have to remember, no iceberg. <laughs> So hopefully that helps you put your mind at ease just a little bit if you're you know heavily in V chain or any in V chain. Uh, I think V chain will do quite well in all time highs certainly in the next the next move up whenever that may be six months twelve months whatever uh, during the next peak. I think V chain will do quite well. It just seems to be uh, stuck more uh, in a rut in the mud than than a lot of others. Uh, it's taken a severe beating, but I think uh, it'll rise to the top and uh, be a be a nice investment uh, moving forward. So take with that what you will. Fear and greed index, we're still at extreme fear, okay? So that's another reason, you know, all these things together should start easing your mind. I know it's, it's the fear and greed index is built on human emotion and it's hard for you to see that, but usually when you're down in fear and extreme fear, certainly the biggest the big stuff's gone okay so we could still bleed out a little bit and go down just slightly more but the big drops happen when you're up in you know greed okay the fear happens by design and it's just to make everyone kind of give up and when as soon as they give up then out of nowhere back to life okay so just stay patient and speaking of patience yes our quote of the week our quote of the day by mr warren buffett be patient <laughs> summarize <laughs> 
Car of the day, the ACR Viper by SRT. Not a Dodge. They're trying to get away from that. It's trying to segregate uh, the SRT Hellcat, the Demon, the Challenger, SRT Challenger, right? The, the, big, the big boys with the big engines. They're trying to ditch the Dodge Caravan minivan <laughs> image. Uh, from my understanding, uh, so this is the like the specked out race version of the the SRT Viper. Uh, it's hard for even me because I grew up knowing the Dodge Viper, right? But they're trying to uh, segregate from that and make it kind of their own thing. Uh, so ACR SRT Viper, uh, pretty sick looking. I love the offset red stripe. I love the red brake calipers, the black wheels. Look at the size of these tires. These are like wider than Lamborghini tires. Like 13, 14 inch wide tires, like double, <laughs> double a Honda tire, <laughs> two Honda tires equal one Viper tire. Uh, pretty awesome for the bang for the buck. It's, it's hard pressed to find a better one for under, this is about 125 K, 125,000 new US dollars. I don't know any car that's better, faster for that price. That's brand new, right? Brand new. You can get some used, you know, Ferraris or whatever for that, or, you know, used, uh, what is Nissan Skylines or Supras? You could tune up some Supras, bro. <laughs> uh, but I don't. I'm, I'd be hard pressed to find a better car, brand new, for under you know 125k that could you know stand a holy candle to that. Maybe maybe the new Corvettes. Maybe I'd rather have this. More rare. All right. See you on the next video. Hopefully, I help you. V chain. We'll be out of it soon. It's nothing. Just go outside and smell some roses. If you have no roses, then. You got some grass. Hopefully you got some grass somewhere. Smell some grass. Fresh mown grass. Mow your grass. Smell that. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this. Uh, vipers and dead grass behind it. <laughs> don't smell that grass. That's probably no good. <laughs>